news, NEPRA authorizes a 2.83 rupees per unit charge for May electricity bills, excluding certain consumers. The government's request for an additional 23 billion rupees in fuel cost adjustment raises concerns. Despite a consumption decline of 8.3% in March, proposed charges more than double last year's amount. NEPRA criticizes power companies for inefficiencies and hints at allowing another 22.8 billion rupees charge in May. In Lahore, clashes between riot police and lawyers prompt strike announcements by the Punjab and Sindh Bar Councils for May 9th. The conflict stems from demands to dismiss terror cases against colleagues and protests against court relocation. Dozens are arrested and injured, leading to nationwide lawyer strikes tomorrow. Meanwhile, tensions between Afghanistan and Pakistan. President Volodymyr Zelensky condemned the attack, highlighting the damage to homes and the railway network, with casualties including an eight-year-old girl. The assault targeted areas across Ukraine, resulting in power cuts in nine regions. Akronergo, the grid operator, warns of further cuts expected throughout the country. Energy Minister German Galushchenko accused Russia of persisting in efforts to deprive Ukrainians of essential services. Analysts as ground forces advance in eastern Ukraine, intensifying efforts to exhaust air defenses. Ukraine's energy sector faces dire challenges, with significant damage already inflicted and limited resources for repair. DTEK, Ukraine's largest electricity supplier, reports an 80% loss in generating capacity since the invasion began. As the conflict escalates, Ukraine's plea for assistance grows louder, while Russia's barrage shows no signs of relenting.